you guys talk about uh, not treating this as a, a reward for a good season and, and trying to treat it as an opportunity to you know, push this program forward? <laughs> you said talk about as being an opportunity? Yeah, not not being happy or satisfied that you guys have gotten back to postseason and, and treating it as a, as an opportunity uh, to, mean, to make something out of you know, push yeah. this program forward. Um it is exciting. I can't deny that. It's been I don't know, it's been a lot of years, you know. And for our first our first time, so it's really exciting. But of course it's an opportunity because you know, we get Mississippi State back on the map and it helps it um It'll take us long as a team to know where we are, where we could be, and to just go on and just hopefully win it, because it's possible to do. Can you guys, can can Martha and Ken, can you talk a little bit about about that? Like with that, we are excited that we are playing postseason, but like we can't just be satisfied that we made it to postseason. We have to go in the tournament and make a big run. Ditto. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Mark, the one word you described this team, as you said, was hilarious up at the lunch. And, and Coach sort of said the same thing, where when you guys are loose and you're cutting up, he expects you guys to be ready for the game. What is it about this team, that the fact that you guys are so loose, and while you don't take things seriously, you actually are in the same sense? I mean, like, Coach Schaefer tells us all the time, like, when it comes to practice and stuff, like, he needs us to be, like, tough monsters and, like, don't be the sweet little angels we are or whatever. So, and then he does this thing where he tells us, like, to turn on the light, and that means, like, when you turn it on, like, you're ready to play or whatever, and you turn it off. Am I saying that right? You're saying that. Yes. Am I? Okay, anyway, so we, like, turn it on, turn it off or whatever, and it means, like, you're ready to go and stuff. So, like, we know when it's right. Like, we know, like, when we can be, like, silly and stuff. And like at the same time, we know how to turn that off or whatever and be ready for game time and practice and stuff. After last year, did y'all expect to have such a big jump? Because while you weren't beating Kentucky and Tennessee and South Carolina, you guys were right there with them. You, you had Kentucky beat and you were right there with Tennessee. Did y'all expect to make that jump? You know, despite winning more games than last year, you were, you were a lot closer to those elite teams. Yes. Yes, I'm <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I mean, last year, I mean, yeah, last year's team, we were still like learning the game and trying to get under Coach Schaefer's like style of play and stuff. And then this year, like, we have so much more help and everyone does something different. So I knew that we were going to be better with this recruiting class too than like the ones that are still here. I can tell you how nerve wracking have the last couple of weeks been for you, kind of know, not knowing if you're, you've played your final game at the collegiate level or not? It's not nerve wracking. It's not, it wasn't nerve-wracking at all. I just had faith in our team that we was going to, you know, I was going to have the opportunity to play again, you know, um, to just enjoy the moment, honestly, and not think about the end. So you think about the end, you get sad, and then you just be, you don't know, say depressed, but you just be real sad, and I'm like, dang, this is my last game. Man, this is my last game. So, no, I, just, I haven't really been thinking about it. I've just been going through the day like it's just like it's the beginning of the season. It's just... Good. Go ahead. I just want to ask you about your SEC tournament. You, you put two pretty good games back to back, especially the Missouri game. Just what uh, what did you feel in that? And you know, going into the tournament, did you feel like you'd be successful? Um, I mean, I just want, I knew you know for us, like we didn't end the season as well as we wanted to. You know, with coming off the Georgia game, like I knew for myself, I needed to redeem myself and like the team. We all just had this spirit about us, like we. We wanted to, you know, do big things and go far in the tournament. And like Coach said, I'm sure y'all heard him say, he didn't bring just one suit to Georgia with him. So, you know, we all just, you know, kind of went with that. And um, I just wanted to do whatever I could to, you know, make sure we went far into the tournament. Can you guys talk uh, about memories of Tulane from playing them in, in the, the closed door scrimmages the past two years? I just know I'm ready to play tomorrow. Say that. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah. What does the shaking head mean? It was uh, for us as a team. We didn't play, yeah. you know. Uh, we were like we were a different team then. We are a much better team now. So it's no comparison. So I mean, it really much you could say was just I'm ready to play tomorrow. So Ken, what kind of incentive does that? Obviously, they must play really well against y'all two years in a row. So what kind of incentive 
you know, they could do it again. So See, how y'all gonna um, prevent that? Yeah. Um. I mean, like like Tia said. I mean, when we played them, uh, you know, the beginning of this year, it was like we all were. We've been playing pickup, you know, during the summer. So we were all just trying to get used to each other, you know, with the freshmen coming in. So that was our first chance of actually playing against someone else. So. Um, it, it was, yeah, like us just, like the freshmen getting used to the system, us getting used to the freshmen. So, I mean, now we play, what, 30 something games now. So, I mean, we're a completely different team. I'm sure they are too, but we're just going to go into the hungry and hopefully come out with a win. That gives you more incentive, maybe. Oh, yeah. Playing them oh, yeah. twice and again. It's not going to be in closed doors this time. <laughs> right, right. <laughs>